plane being blown down the street in Holland. Derek Francis, Fox 17 News. Lot out there to look at today. None of it really good. Kevin, uh, back with another check of the forecast. Definitely a busy day for you guys. It was indeed. Thanks to my entire team and all of our team out there just pounding the pavement to try to bring you folks the coverage. We work with a great bunch of individuals and dedicated people who will just put in hour after hour to get the story and the news and the information out. So thanks to our entire Fox 17 team. That video that you just saw that Derek was talking about, that was actually reminded me of rain that you'd see in a tropical system. It was actually horizontal rain just being driven. And all the damage that we have with trees down and power lines down, this is an excellent example of why we say don't ever seek shelter during storms under a tree. You could get hit by lightning or that tree could come down. But when you're seeing trees that are snapped right in half, that uh, certainly is an indication of some strong winds. We had some 75 mile per hour winds, the strongest I could find there in the Granville area. All the other ones were between about 60, 65, and 75 there. We have some wet pavement in Grand Rapids and points to the north right now. Some light showers uh, kind of rotating on through. That will happen over the next few hours. No severe weather is expected at this point. We're done with that. But the good news is a cooler, drier air mass returns. We already can feel that out there right now. It's mainly going to be dry the next several days. A couple of showers out there over the next few hours, maybe an isolated shower tomorrow and or Friday, but it's going to be few and far between. Can you believe in the 60s this weekend after we just had a high of 93 degrees yesterday? Incredible turnaround there. Here are the showers kind of rotating on through. When I looked at radar not long ago, these showers over our southern counties weren't even there. Now they are. So we've got showers from north to south, east to west. They're a little bit uh, more steady uh, up in the yellows there, as you see across Oceana County, New Ago County, northern Muskegon County. They're working in from the west and moving to the east. These will rotate through, but behind this, there's not much out there except just some cloud cover. We still have breezy conditions. The breezes stay with us overnight and they stay with us through the day tomorrow. We've got uh, generally west to southwest winds sustained at about 15 to 25 miles per hour. That'll be the case through the overnight hours and through the day tomorrow as well. Here's our current temperatures. We fall into the 50s in some locations, still 67 in Kalamazoo, 68 in Three Rivers, 63 in Grand Rapids. Most lows tonight will fall into the mid to upper 50s. So you almost don't even need the AC. And here's another testament to that. As we look at our dew point temperatures, these were up into the low to mid 70s today. Florida tropical air mass, very similar to that. Now we have stripped a lot of the moisture out of the atmosphere. So you could already feel the drier air. That's what we're going to be dealing with over the next few days. So if you're one of those folks that may be watching our uh, news uh, right now on the smartphone or you're streaming it on your smartphone or through Facebook Live, whatever the case is there, uh, we won't have to worry about if you are without power, you won't need the AC over the next several days because we're going to be dry and very much on the comfortable side. Here's what it looked like uh, back at 1030 this morning. I was on the phone with our morning meteorologist Anthony Domlin. He said, Kevin, these things are already beginning to flare up and burst out on radar earlier than had expected a little bit earlier. Anyways, we had a cluster around into the north and east of Chicago over southern base of Lake Michigan. Some of these were already creeping into southwest lower Michigan. This was at 1030. Let me stand back. We'll press the button here. Watch these just explode across the area and they move very quickly for the first time since 2013. If you miss me saying this at the top of the show, we were put into a moderate risk for severe weather development east of US 131 over towards the Detroit area. That's getting pretty serious when you see a moderate risk around here. We generally don't see that. And as the Weather Service called it, quote unquote, a very rare situation with that moderate threat for severe weather. And certainly it panned out with all the trees, power lines, power outages and everything going on out there. Uh, good thing I have not heard no fatalities. I haven't heard anything about injuries or fatality. So that certainly is good news there. And that's ultimately the goal there. We can fix the property. We can't replace the life. Uh, so that's why we do what we do here. 74 degrees for the high tomorrow, partly cloudy to mostly sunny at the lakeshore, breezy, cooler. We'll have a west wind at about 10 to 20 miles per hour out on Lake Michigan. We still have a high beach hazard risk for tomorrow in that area of red. That's almost a whole lake shore. So you shouldn't be out there swimming. These are Lake Michigan water temperatures in the upper 60s. So that Lake Michigan water warming up here, uh, four to six foot waves tomorrow going down to three to five feet. That will uh, prompt a small craft advisory with those westerly winds at about 15 to 25 miles per hour. As we look at our uh, computer forecast model, maybe an isolated shower tomorrow north of Grand Rapids. And then uh, we've got another cold front coming in here Thursday and into Friday. That could prompt an isolated shower to really minor stuff in the big scheme of things. And then as we uh, go into Friday, that high pressure will build in here. Cool 
cooler air mass is going to be in place. Certainly, as we get into Saturday, we're probably going to be in the mid 60s by that time. That's a little bit on the chilly side, considering 78 is the normal high for this time of the year. So 74 tomorrow, still breezy, but some sunshine, maybe a shower in there on Friday. 71 on Friday, but a lot of the day will be dry. I think that's going to be isolated. 66 there on uh, Saturday, cool conditions. 70 on Sunday. The weekend looks great, but it's just going to be a little cooler than we're used to for this time of the year. And then we should warm back up to around the 80 82 degree mark by the time we get into the middle of next week and look at the overnight low temperatures in the 40s there. So very comfortable from this point all the way into the beginning to middle of next week. Enjoy that and no severe weather anymore here for the next several days, guys. All right.